When I talk to CPG, CPG says, yes, mobile has hit CPG. I talk to finance, same thing. Mobile has hit finance. But then when I go to travel, and when I talk to clients and agencies and brand owners, um, the response is a 180. No, mobile's not there. It's not really, we haven't seen returns from, we haven't seen efficiencies, we haven't seen this or we haven't seen that. We haven't seen case studies, results. And essentially what they're saying is mobile has not hit travel. Well, I'm here to tell you mobile has hit travel. And in fact, we know it has hit it hard. It drives performance, it drives results. But let me show you why instead of me just saying it. Let me give you a couple of statistics globally as around the world of how mobile has definitely hit travel in terms of a viable vehicle. ISG, 91% increase year to year from mobile search. Hotels.com, triple digit growth of mobile bookings. In fact, when we look at the hotel specific vertical, 70% of mobile hotel bookings are on the same day as check-in. It's phenomenal. And this is not only on hotels. We also see this happening with airlines. Example, EasyJet. 38% of their mobile bookings were flights within 10 days. Now obviously EasyJet's in Europe. I would garner, I would, I'd reckon in Southeast Asia, that number is true, if not even higher. So it's not really a question of mobile has hit travel. It, it, already, it already is. And that's where we really see the benefit of mobile. So going back to what we talked today on the five stages of travel, the beauty of mobile is that every single stage, mobile plays a definitely important part, if not a significant part, in every single one of these stages. But I think where I'm gonna focus the rest of this presentation on is one where we're seeing a lot of innovation, a lot of cool stuff happening, and it's really within the experience stage. And this is the stage where we're seeing some out of this world technology being applied to help consumers have an amazing experience when they get to a destination. So how do consumers experience when they travel on the mobile handset? This is something, a research that was done by a company called Lab42, and these are the five things they distilled when travelers are traveling with a mobile handset. These are the five primary things people do. So let me tackle them one by one. When we travel, obviously, and clearly, we take photos. Um, and before, it was just static images. You, you go to somewhere, you take an image, you leave it there, and that's it. But with technology, it's accentuating this process. Let me give you an example. Let's say you're in Berlin, in Germany, and you're at the Brandenburg um, Towers here. You want to take a picture of it, and in the past, that would be it. And you have this picture, it's a static picture you bring home, you load it to Flickr, or Facebook, Google+, whatever it is. But with technology, it helps you accentuate, accentuate this picture. Because what we are seeing now is incorporation of this concept called augmented reality. So this is an example of an app, for it's a travel app in Europe, where when you use this to take a picture, it provides you additional information on this location. So this is from HRS, it tells you relevant hotel locations around this tower. You can also get Wikipedia entries, you can get all these information that accentuates this picture right there and right now. It's not what you do when you get home, it's right now, right there, in terms of understanding more of where you are. That's the power of mobile in terms of photo. Let me give you another example. Again, if you're in Germany and you see this amazing tower, you have no idea what it is, right? So, but you think it's fascinating, it's compelling, let me take a picture of it. And again, with mobile technology, a picture can be so much more than a static image. So we have this product called Google Goggles. If you don't have it, please download it. It's across iOS and Android. And the idea with it is essentially, it's a visual search. It allows you to get more information about the static world, the offline world. So here's an example. Someone is taking this picture of this tower, have no idea what it is, uses Google Goggles, takes a picture of it, the technology on their handset analyzes it, and says, oh, we know where this is, we also know what it, where it is, as well what it is, it's in Berlin, as well as the Berlin Victory Column. And by the way, do you wanna know if there's a near hotel or any additional information about this um, icon that you're gonna be at? So that's really the power of technology when users are taking photos. Now, it's not all purely for informational purposes. There's also a commercial usage of this, and 
what I want to show you next really excites me is this something we did in the US um, where with Google Goggles, it works with our key partners. And this one was with Delta Airlines and a couple other ones that really provides a great way to essentially bring a commercial aspect in terms of visual search. So rather than me talking about it, let me run the video. So the beauty of this is your mobile handset has effectively become the mouse clicker for the offline world. If you see something, click it, you get more information. See something compelling, click it, you get more information. So the other thing people do is when they travel is they use maps. They basically use map to get from point A to point B. And again, with mobile technology, it's not purely getting from point A to point B. It's all the fun that you can have getting from point A to point B and what happens in between. So let me show some of the cool stuff that we're doing at Google that really accentuates this. So let's say you're in New York, you look up Empire State Building, and before this, this is all you would get. It's a flat location and how to get there. But now with mobile technology, you can actually have, go around and see 3D buildings of New York City on your handset. You can get exact driving directions, walking directions, transit locations to New York City from wherever you are in New York. And even if you can't go to New York, and maybe you don't have enough funds or whatever it may be, you just want to see how it is, well, we can help you there as well. With mobile technology, you can take a virtual tour of New York City on your handset. Again, the beauty of mobile is not from going getting to point A to point B, it's the stuff that happens in between. And when people are at destinations, they also search for stuff, activities and attractions. And I know there's a lot of hotel clients here. Um, F&B is a big proportion of your business. You want to drive people to F&B. And this is where we really can help on the mobile handset. So if you have an F&B location, you want to drive, these are some of the technologies and cool marketing stuff that you can do on your handset. You can have hyper-local extensions. And what that is is when someone does a search on their mobile handset, it pulls up the GPS of where you are and then shows you where the nearest location perhaps an F&B is. You can drive offer ads. Why not drive someone 50%, well that's pretty drastic, let's say 5% off a two for one meal and they can show in their handset, go into an F&B location or SMS or email them. You can even bid by distance. So imagine you were at, Empire, you were at the Empire State Building and you want to capture that audience. You can actually bid more to have your F&B show up against anyone else. Or you can just drive calls, because a lot of people just want to call and find out directions. You can do click to call on the handset. They look up your location, they click one button, and right away, bam, they call your location, they go in, and they go into your respective F&B. And the final thing is, what we see is, people check in prior to flight. They want to basically get information. And when we look at this, it's primarily focused on the application spectrum. And if you look at how the travel industry has built application, it falls along one of these three verticals. It's to book, it's to inform, and it's an engage. And really it falls along this. And this is your opportunity when you build an application, is stick along one of these three verticals, and you should have good success. And this is where we can help you as well, which is really to drive distribution. Because when people are wanting to check in, why not have the ability for them to download your application on the handset so they can check into their respective flight or destination. So I'm about to run out in time, but if I want to leave you one single thought, and the simple thought now is it's definitely not too late to be early when it comes to mobile. Thank you.